Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Living in Sarasota. Today I am standing out in Lakewood Ranch. So yes, Sarasota, Lakewood Ranch, Bradenton, Venice, all fabulous cities that I service. But today we are going to dive into the fastest growing multi-generational community in the United States, Lakewood Ranch, Florida. So stick around. Hi everyone, I am Lisa McBride with Keller Williams Realty Select in Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch. But before we get started, as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button so you're notified when I post new videos, which I do every week, and leave comments below, let me know how I can help. Lakewood Ranch is a planned urban development located just east of 75 in Manatee County. Lakewood Ranch is an extension of Bradenton. Lakewood Ranch is home to over 43,000 residents and 18,000 homes, with plans to add another 30,000 homes in the next decade. As you drive through here and you see all the new developments and all the new construction, you're not going to be surprised by that. Each community or village is unique and comes with a set of amenities and features distinctly their own. Downtown Lakewood Ranch is located just off of University Parkway and Lakewood Ranch Boulevard with coffee shops, boutiques, movie theaters, restaurants, bars. There's truly a gathering spot for everyone. It does really feel like a classic downtown where you walk around and you run into people that you know and you stop and have a cocktail or a beverage, you see a friend. So it's a really cute little downtown area. And the first Friday of every month, it is a hot spot because they have what is considered the first Fridays and they have music going and people out dancing in the streets. It's a lot of fun. There is also Lakewood Ranch Medical Plaza, the marketplace, which is great for groceries. You have banks, dry cleaning. Not to mention we are only five miles to University Town Center Mall. University Town Center area is filled with big box uh, stores such as Target, uh, Dillard's, Best Buy, Macy's, lots of shopping, great restaurants. There's a lot to do out there. Now let's talk about the housing. What does it cost and what are the amenities and who are building all these homes? Some of the original neighborhoods are Central Park and Riverside. They're now about 20 years old and although they're the old kids on the block, they still have unique qualities and features. Um, some of the differences, some of these neighborhoods are not gated um, and they don't all have community pools. They, the way we've developed is very different uh, from 20 years ago. Now, What's nice about some of those older neighborhoods is that they are really close to the downtown, so you could walk downtown on a Thursday evening for dinner. Single family homes in these villages will start about 375,000 and then go into the 500,000 price point. Now keep in mind, you will find a few great values in these older communities, but the homes may just need a little freshening up. You can also find condos right downtown and throughout these a great neighborhoods. The condos are going to begin in the price point of about 250 and then go up from there. You can find them 300, 400 and up into the million dollar price point for the condos. Lakewood Ranch currently has over 20 new communities being developed. For instance, Crestwind and Del Webb are 55 plus designated areas for active seniors with social directors on site to help facilitate activities all year round. We are finding not just resort style pools, but we also have pickleball courts, which is the fastest growing sport in the United States. Tennis courts that are lit. You will find card rooms, craft rooms, yoga studios, art studios, and so much more. Recently, many of the communities have started bringing in food trucks once or twice a week as an alternative to having to cook at home. A nice way to get out, see your neighbors, and still be socially distanced. We have communities of golf courses, such as Lakewood National. Now this 36 hole golf course is home to many additional amenities aside from just golf, such as it has a full service spa, it has a walk-in lagoon style pool, it has a fitness center and so much more. And again, at Lakewood National, just like all over here, you're gonna be able to find condos, villas, and single family homes. Prices for the condos are going to start in the mid 200s and go up from there, but homes are going to probably start about 700,000 and go well into the millions. 
Another golf course community is Country Club East. Country Club East has been in development and has been around this area for quite some time. So you're going to find homes that are 10, 12 years and some that are brand new. Golf Gate East is a prestigious neighborhood and definitely has homes for those discerning buyers. A few of the communities that are filled with a diverse age and population is uh, Mallory Park, Savannah, Arbor Grande. All of these have so much variety. They have ranch style homes, they have two-story homes, they have villas, they have townhomes, they have schools nearby, you're going to find people playing in the streets, you're going to find social activities. You know, they still have the amenities, but the social activities are really created throughout the neighborhood. Now we have sports complexes all over this area for baseball, soccer, and for polo players. One of the newest and wildly popular villages is Waterside. Waterside is the first community that is actually located in Sarasota County. It is located between University Parkway and Lorraine Road. This large sprawling development is starting in price about $700,000, but due to demand and this crazy real estate market and the rising of prices, these homes are quickly going into the million dollar mark. Waterside homes are being built around seven large lakes and will eventually have its own little community village with downtown dining and shopping. If this price point isn't quite what you're looking for, we also have Lorraine Lakes, Wild Wind, and Polo Run, just to name a few. Now, if you're looking to keep busy and get out of your neighborhood, even though it's so amenity rich, on Sundays we have a farmer's market and also during season, which is January through April, there are polo matches every Sunday, which is really fun. If you want to take in a little bit more um, active lifestyle, then just head five minutes down the road to Benderson Park. Benderson Park is a unique 600 acre community park that includes North America's premier 2000 meter sprint rowing course. And it is home to um, Olympic trainers and regattas and something going on year round. You can learn how to row, you can go out there and fish, you can ride a bike, you can walk, you can jog. It's a great area to just spend an afternoon. And there's a playground just specifically for the kiddos suburb of Sarasota is really pristine, it's friendly, it's fun, it's newer. So if you're looking to be close to Sarasota but you're looking for something newer, Lakewood Ranch might be it. Now it is about 25 minutes to the beaches so just keep that in mind if you're a beach goer. If you have any questions regarding Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, Brainton, Venice or any of this Gulf Coast area, I'm here to help.